congratulations, your idea for the Blue Umbrella was chosen to be the short film ahead of Monsters University. Now, what was the pressure like and the competition here at Pixar to be chosen? It, it was, I mean, there's so many talented artists here and, and there were a couple of people who pitched ideas for short films. And it, to me, to a certain extent, that was actually pushing me to try to improve my pitch more and more because I knew the other people that I know here that are so amazing and just trying to get to that level, mm -hmm. I think actually helped me a lot in improving more and more in, in, in how my pitch was going and the story I was pitching. And you use photorealism, but when you're watching the short, you think it's actually live action mm -hmm. and you just added the animation, but the entire thing is animation, correct? Yeah. How do you achieve that look? It looks so realistic. It was just a lot of work, basically. I mean, when we decided that we want to do it as if it it's live action, but we knew we need to do it in animation because the level of control and iteration we wanted, you can't do in live action. Mm. So we were just kind of slightly worried, could we get it to the point where people think it's live action? Luckily we were. Um, and a lot of it was just observation of detail. Like how do textures age? How does a mailbox mm. look like when it's a bit older and have five layers of paint? How big the, are these screws actually? And a lot of kind of taking in the natural history and the stories you have in a city that's been around for, for decades. We love getting the question that is where, where do you shoot it or how did you integrate live action? Or how much is live action? How, how much, much is live animation? action? And that, that, then we know we've, yeah. we've got them. Yeah, yeah it looks <laughs> Now you've worked on Brave and um, Toy Story and Cars. What did you learn um, from those movies and the way things are done here at Pixar that helped you uh, for the Blue Umbrella? I think the most amazing thing that I experienced here and I learned here once I started working here five years ago was that the way we make films here is such an iterative process. It's not like we do the story once and then it's done. We keep approving on, upon it, we keep approving upon it. And not just in story, but in layout and in animation and even in lighting. We keep trying to plus the story and we appreciate every single person's input, every single person's creative input. It doesn't matter if it's a shader, if it's a light or an animator. And I think being exposed to that and understanding how this works helped me so much that in the short, when I was the director of it, just being open to everyone's creative input to it and taking it in and making the story and the film so much more than it would have been if I would have done it just by myself. Um, now, earlier today in your presentation, you talked about the different levels of, from idea mm -hmm. to execution. Can you briefly just list, list those? Yeah, so the, the, everything basically starts with a core idea. And, and for me, that was an umbrella I found um, when it was raining in the city and just looked incredibly sad. It was abandoned and just lied in the gutter there. And the next step for me was to find an emotional connection. What did that mean to me? And wh why did I feel sad about it? And I realized it was because I grew up in a city where it rains a lot. And in California, where I live, it barely ever rains. And mm. it was this feeling of missing the rain and finding the rain really beautiful. And that making me close to umbrellas that probably are happy in the rain because that's when they come out. And then building a story upon that and remembering that core emotion when we draw storyboards of the whole film and then when we animate the whole film or when we put it into the computer and shoot it with a virtual camera, always thinking of that core emotion that sparked the story. The same thing when we do the lighting, is it a warm lighting or a cold lighting? What is the emotional beat of the story? How does the rain look like? Does it look harsh or romantic? And kind of trying to use every single aspect of, of making an animated film to support that story and that core emotion.